four, three, two. Hey guys, I'm Solen, and today I'll introduce to you a different kind of reality, augmented reality. It means just combining a real world scene with computer imagery. So how do you do that? You need a camera and you need a screen. This screen can be the um, monitor of your computer. It can be a cell phone or it can be an outdoor setup, let's say in a mall. In our case, we made use of a third element, which is called a trigger. It is the image that you see in the magazine. This is what you use to start the AR experience. So basically, very literally, it means combining two worlds or an alternate reality. Well, fashion your seatbelts. Fashion your seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> it combines a number of things. Now, we have, uh, for the preview execution, we have 3D. We also had um, video. So we went with a crew of preview when they shot the cover and we did uh, a few action shots also with uh, the model. Um, since it's a moving picture, we really needed that. And we used that element and combined it with the 3D of the globe. And there's some programming that went into it, so you'll be able to launch this as an application on your computer. Then the, the fourth element would be deploying this over the web, which is in partnership with Style Bible. So basically, you need the magazine, and then you need to go to the website of Preview, which is called stylebible.ph, to be able to experience the whole thing. So it's a collaborative effort. It's not just technology per se. You have a creative uh, production team that went along with the uh, Preview crew. of an AR project it was the most logical thing to partner with Summit considering that we did partner in creating Style Bible. So what's the best, for, for at least for the print medium, what's the best way to, to launch such a project other than to start with a best-selling fashion magazine? It's really only logical for us to, to talk to only Summit for this project. We are very excited because AR is something new to the Philippine market and will be the first fashion magazine that will actually have the technology or access to the technology on our cover. We like to push boundaries, so this is the first augmented reality. Every month, we usually pick the cover girls based on what's happening to them that month. Of course, there has to be buzz about the cover girl for that month. And we already knew that Solen was in Survivor Philippine Celebrity Edition. So we were banking and hoping that you know she would make it to the finals. And this is our attempt to put all our force behind her and you know um, cast our vote. <laughs> For her this way because we believe she should be the one who wins the Survivor Celebrity Edition. We're thinking of what kind of graphics would be good for an augmented reality cover or for the application of augmented reality. We thought that it would be perfect if she was walking the globe. Hence, you, you'll see her in a more bohemian take which would be indicative of let's say a place like India or a more urban take which would be, you know, which would represent a place like London. So after that, all the graphics in the background will just kind of pop up and be a counterpoint to the clothes that she's wearing. 